Hi, welcome to Chard Review. Today I'm going to explain a South Korean fantasy romance show called Alchemy of Souls. The show opens you on the streets where an elderly woman stops by some roadside beggars. She later brings them to her house, lets them have some quality meals, and leaves. Right then a devilish-looking man with blue skin color appears and tries to attack the beggars. He is about to kill them, but luckily a demon slayer, Jang Kong, arrives there and throws it away. Jang then uses supreme water control powers and confines the devil within it, impaling it badly. It turns out the creature is actually the son of the same elderly woman. She begs Jang to bring him back to normalcy as he was the one who mis-executed the forbidden soul-shifting technique on her son and made him go wild. But to her dismay, Jiang refuses to do it and mentions that it is useless as her son has already gone too far. Ultimately, Jiang throws the creature into the ocean which upon losing its energy transforms into a rock. I can already tell this show is going to slap in the following scene in Ailing. Her discovers these failed soul-shifting experiments by Jiang and invites him to the palace. However, instead of punishing him, the emperor requests Jiang to exchange souls with him for a few days so that he can conceive an heir to the throne. I'm going to need to borrow that dick. At first the demon slayer refuses, claiming it is dangerous, but when the stubborn emperor insists, he gives in. Soon, Jiang begins the forbidden procedure and successfully exchanges souls with the emperor. However, as soon as it is done, the emperor rushes to meet. Chang's wife Da Hua. He immediately begins making love with her and the poor woman happily complies, unaware that it is not her husband, Dark. The scene then fast forwards by 20 years, where we are introduced to Knoxville, a skilled assassin who has been killing Magus. She fights with Park Jin, the leader of the Park family, one of the top four families in the city of Diho. Natsu manages to defeat a large number of soldiers alone but she is ultimately overpowered by Park Jean, who injured her with his sword left with no options. She flees the battlefield and quickly transforms her soul into a different body. Soon Park Jin also arrives, and when he finds out that Natsu is interchanged bodies, he is livid. Nonetheless, he takes her body and her sword, hoping she will return for them elsewhere. Noxy was possessed the body of a girl named Moody Oak. It turns out she is a blind girl who was about to be sold to a brothel. However, after the switch, Noxy was retained some of her qualities because of which she is able to see clearly later, when she is brought to the brothel a senior female. Approaches her and makes her aware of the four seasons of Dai Ho. It turns out that a group of four talented and appealing offspring of the four prestigious families, the Park family, the CIO family, the Jin family, and the Jiang family represent four different seasons in Daheo. After hearing this, Nashi remembers that these are the very descendants of the people who had killed her parents when she was a child. A murder that she witnessed later knocks you, tries to flee the brothel, and on the way she stumbles upon one of the princes of the place, Jiang. Luke despite being the son of Jiang Kong, he is alluded to be the offspring of his mother's extramarital relationship. When Noxiu attempts to rob him of his money, Jiang Yuk convinces her into stealing his jade plaque instead and allows her to flee. As she runs away, Jan Yuk seems impressed by her moves and guesses her to be the real Noxo. Elsewhere, the group for which Noxiu previously worked as an assassin wants to remove all of her traces so that no one can ever relate them with Noxiu. In the following scene, Noxi visits the market to sell the plaque that he got from Jiang Yuk right then. She notices CEO Yul Prince of the CEO family, and remembers that he is the one to whom she gifted her bird whistle during their young age at the buyer shop. Suddenly, a few guards from the Jiang family arrive and capture her. Afterward, Natsu was brought back to Jiang Su's place, where he reveals that he has purchased her from the brothel. He now intends to use her as his personal maid. Having no other options left, Noxo agrees to follow Django's orders. Later, she discovers that Jiang Yuke has a plaque that she can use to enter Song. 
them a secret place where mages and royals train magical spells and improve their skills. Noxy was well aware that she needs to gain back her powers before entering the place, yet she makes the decision to enter Songroom discreetly, hoping that her sword will help her regain some of her powers later at night. After Jiang Yu falls asleep, Noxu steals his plaque and runs to Song Ram. Soon Jiang Yu also opens his eyes, and it appears as if he was well aware of what's happening. Meanwhile, Noxu out your Songroom to get her sword back but finds the place being attacked by a group of shadow assassins. They light a fire in the training center and attack the guards Noxu watches from afar as the four seasoned soldiers stave off the assassins which appeared to have been sent by a guy in a black cloak who worked as Noxu's superior. While the two groups are fighting Noxu runs toward Zhang Jinggak, a training center where mages and people of Sangram are trained. Here she gets to know that the assassins have been sent by her superior to get hold of these items. Meanwhile, after realizing that the fire in the training center is simply a diversion, Park Jin, the leader of Song Rim, rushes to Jian Jun Gak. However, to his shock, Noxie's body and sword have already been stolen by the shadow attackers. He then urges everyone to look for the invaders and capture them before they manage to flee. While looking around, Koyul spots Anoxia and begins chasing after her. He is about to catch up to her when suddenly Jang UK steps in to save her day. He pulls her to a safer place and under the moonlight observes the distinctive pattern in Noxie's eyes. Looking at her, Jiang UK mentions that she is supposed to be the master he is looking for. Here the scene flashes to the past and it is revealed that Zhang Yu Kei is the one whom No Wa had given birth to right before she died. Sadly, Zhen Kong refused to accept him as his son and also blocked his gate of energy, hindering him from using any superpowers. Back to the present. Zhang Yu Kei reveals to Natsu that he knows about her true identity. In exchange for protecting her, he begs her to serve as his. Master Wright then CEO you will notice his Noxi and tries to attack her with his sword. But Jiang Yu K again manages to save her. Seeing him Ko you'll get surprised and apologizes for his sudden attack soon. Park Dangu, a descendant of the Park family, also joins them. While Jiang Yu K and CEO you'll are talking about past incidents. Sometime later Jiang Gut introduces Mood Yak aka Noxiu. This is personal maid and Ko Yul apologizes for chasing her earlier. Park Dengue also praises her for making an effort to protect her master. They then inform the duo about Nox's missing body. Park Jean learns that a spy is hiding in Song Ram and orders his men to identify him or her. Afterward, in the secret chamber where her original body was capped. Noxiu, Zhang Yu K Shul, and Park Dengue gather and start to discuss. To Noxious annoyance, Jango keeps insulting her real self, making her frustrated and even more determined to eliminate him. Soon after the two are left alone, Jango coerces her to reveal her true identity, and she admits that she is not Sue. In turn, she asks him about his motivation for assisting her. Januik says that he wants her to serve as his master. Surprisingly, Noxu declines his offer, compelling Jiang Yu K to use a hidden device to confine themselves inside Jian Jun Guak. He then warns Natsu that if she kills him, soldiers of Song Room will find her when they open the chamber. But if she accepts his offer to be his master, he can protect her from getting killed later after describing how weak she has become. To the soul shifting Noxu informs Jiang Youth that she needs to find her sword to regain her powers. She also mentions that she will need her sword to open his energy gate, which was closed years ago. Hearing this, Januik asserts that they can't attempt to open the locks until the closing mechanism ends. This infuriates Knoxville and she tries to strike Janiak, but in the process she unknowingly steps on a floor switch, causing the floor to collapse. Later, the two manage to escape the secret room only to be taken to the training center where Park Jin is requested. 
They also meet Park Dangu there who tells them that Park Jean has assembled them there to look for noxious men who are believed to be responsible for the attack. According to Park Jen, there is a soul-shifting traitor among them who will be exposed with the aid of the Jin family's ghost as soon as he says so, a princess from the Jin family arrives with a strange vessel and unleashes the sorcery-detecting ghost named Savali Guangyu. It slowly flies out from the antique pottery and starts to look around. Taking on the shape of an animal just as Django can knocks you anticipate an attack from it, Gigu leaps upon another soul shifter behind them. The latter tries to escape, but Seo Yul easily finishes him off with a single strike. Meanwhile, Nox, who views this as a chance to escape. But when Gigu returns to his Psalter, she is caught by Jeon UK. After directing her to flee, Jeon UK himself dashes back to the training facility and smashes the priceless pottery, eliminating Gigu and therefore rescuing Natsu. However, because of this, Park Jin and the family reprimand him. Jung Hook is then given the punishment to stay outside for the night. During this time, Natsu visits the brothel and purchases some explosives from the owner. In exchange, she trades Jung Su's song Rim Spirit plaque that she had been carrying around. The scene then switches to the men's meeting site in Danju, where the leader pledges to transform everyone who brought Nashi's body to them into soul shifters. But as soon as the leader leaves the room, his men kill everyone who helped in bringing Noxu there, the leader is revealed. Be a powerful chief named Jean Mu. Following the massacre, everyone in the area starts believing that Jean Mu is the one who brought Natsu and her men's bodies back to the palace. At the palace for his brave act, the emperor tries to appoint Jean Mu as the Guangzhou, the leader of the soldiers, but the Song remembers oppose it. They believe that since Jiang Kong is still the Guangzhou, the decision is baseless. The emperor then alters the prize for Jin Mill and fulfills his request to publicly burn Noxious corpse while retaining. The sword at Chang Bogon, a place which is used to keep valuable items of royal families safely. Later, when Jiang Yu gets to know about this, he goes to meet Jin Mood to get Noxious sword. At first the latter refuses to comply. But when Zhang Gut mentions that he is the son of the current Guangzhou, Jin Mu quietly hands the sword over. Meanwhile, Noxu makes her way to the place where her real body is being set on fire. This devastates Noxu, but when Zhang Yuk approaches her with her sword, she cheers up a bit. The two then move to a different location. Our Nox, who tries to unsheath her sword but fails. Seeing this, Django berates her, saying that she is not qualified enough to be his master. Disappointed that she has become a total failure, Noxu leaves to commit the unthinkable. Later she goes to the edge of Lake Yongjian Diho and remembers Jin Mu, calling it the Cemetery of Seoul. Shifters Noxu, then dives into the water, and as soon as she reaches the depths she feels energized. This time she successfully takes her sword out of its sheath soon after. John UK also arrives there and is surprised to see Noxy by the lake. With her blade unsheathed, he rushes to check up on her, but Noxu abruptly passes out in Sadu Quan, the official infirmary of the royals and the mages, Nox, who awakens and tries to draw her sword but fails. She then learns from Jiang Yuk that it was the lake which allowed her to draw the sword. There is a magical strength inside the waters which cannot be found anywhere else. Hearing this Noxu realizes that she requires a powerful person to drive the energy out of her, so she devises a new strategy. At night, while the two were conversing, Jiang Yuk drinks a cup of herbal tea. As soon as he does so, Noxi reveals that she has actually poisoned the drink and the only way to bring him out of the poison's effect is by opening the gate of energy. Right then, Park Jean and his senior arrive at the scene and seeing Jiang Yuk in pain, they rush to help Knox. Yu tells them about the poison and the fact that Jiang Yuk has only six hours left until his heart stops. She also reveals that the only way to rescue him is by opening his gate of energy, sounds like a euphemism, Knox Yu. What are you playing at? However, 
Park Jean is only interested in knowing the name of the poison she fed to his friend when she remains silent. He takes Noxu away and punishes her brutally, but despite this she remains tight-lipped, leaving them with no option but to open his gate of energy. Sometime later, He Yam, the senior of the Jiang family, approaches Jiang UK and unlocks his gate of energy to save him. The procedure works and he slowly regains consciousness surprisingly when he learns that Moxie was being kept. Hostage for poisoning him, he rushes to save her. He quickly unties the ropes from Noxious hands and legs and they both finally address each other as master and pupil. Poison me again, mommy. The scene then flashes back to the past when Park Jean questions Jan Kong regarding his son's origins and the rationale behind shutting down his energy. Gates Jian Kong responds by saying he is doing so to safeguard the child from being ill-treated and to free him from extra pressure back to the present. Django brings Natsu back to the shelter and when he sees Park Jean, he starts apologizing. He lies that he poisoned himself and begs for his approval to take Naksut as Seguin to have her wounds treated as expected. Park Jean gets enraged, but Ko Yul and Park Dango calm him down and somehow convince him to let the duo receive treatment. After this, as Jung UK is trying to assist Noxi to her feet, he notices a blue mark developing in her eyes. Fearing that she will be exposed, he quickly covers her eyes. After a while, with the help of CEO Yul and Park Dango, they leave for Sequin. Afterward, we see Master Heliam and Park Jean debating the earlier incident. Hao Yam admits that in order to speed up Django's recovery, he gave him his own energy, which is worth 10 years. This surprises Park Jean and he requests Yo Yam to take back his energy as soon as possible. However, the master refuses. On the other hand, given that Moxie's behavior has been anything but typical, we can see that CEO Yul is starting to have doubts about her. The scene then shifts to John UK and Nashia, who are currently at Sequin. And talking about the previous incidents afterward, Janiac states that no one has ever jeopardized her life for him or understood his need as she did. And now, as both of them are alive, he promises to accept her as his master. Jang Yu then prepares to bow down to his new master, but Nox Yu interrupts him and puts forward some conditions no one should find out about their master pupil relationship, and that they need to depart once their objectives are achieved. Nox Yu will promptly leave after she transforms into her original form. Since he won't have any incentive to protect her later, Jean Mu admits to killing the physical form of Noxious soul containing body. But when he asks his subordinate about the blue mark on her body, the latter lies that it was already on the corpse at the time of the examination. Jean Mu then deduces that Noxu must have used all her energy because of which she was unable to fight back. He recalls the past when Jiang Kong had his soul switched into the emperor's body. It is then revealed that this incident is what inspired him to learn about soul shifting from Jiang Kong. Next, Noxie starts her teachings with Jiang UK and tells him about the three requirements for being the finest mage in all the land during their classes. She quickly learns that he has no background in martial arts, making it even more difficult for her to train him. In the following scene, as Noxie was cleaning outside Seguin, she and Master Hyam get into a minor argument. However, he tells her not to be offended as his wrath is only directed at Jiang UK. Hyam also tells her that he genuinely loves Jiang Hook and has invested his energies to help him recover faster. When the latter also confirms this, Natsu becomes excited. She now intends to steal this energy for him, but in order to do so she needs Heal Yam's breathing technique. As Shaoyul is a member of Hyam's family and is probably using a similar breathing pattern, Noxu pursues him to learn the technique, seal you all, then becomes intrigued and gets closer to her. But as he is about to explain his breathing pattern, Jiang UK arrives there and ruins the whole setup. He then reveals the Naksu that he has already managed to acquire the breathing skill from Hyam and is currently practicing it. Later, a new character, the Crown Prince of Diho Go Wan, is introduced. 
He is revealed to be Jin Mu's student and the latter informs him that Jiang Yuk has taken Noxious Sword despite the fact that the Emperor gave it to him. Hearing this, Gowan gets angry at Jin Mu and criticizes him go on with your bad self. Later, Park Chen calls Janiak up to the main hall and announces his expulsion from the Song Ram group, making everyone surprised when Zhang Su doesn't return the spirit plaque he is subsequently given a super fun punishment of 100 floggings. After this Django Kanatsu can be seen leaving Sonogram carrying their personal belongings in a flashback park. Jin's motivation was made clear when Zhang Kang revealed to him that Zhang Yuk is actually the late emperor's offspring. Now the only way to protect him from being the new emperor is by never allowing him to enter his gaze. The episode ends with Zhang Hang stating that Zhang Gut can survive if he quietly lives as his son, but if he doesn't, death is imminent. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. Thank you for watching.